Wong's looking so good. I know. There's zero reason to believe that he's going to play Rashid ever again, but <laughs> you never know. You never we, know, We man. joke that uh, King Toxicity, he calls it his side account. I'm like, no, it's your main account. That's his main account. That's your main he's account, got a lot man. more points than his Rashid account, yeah. that's for sure. I and think he, he still busted it out for some of the matchups that are really tough for Fong. Mm -hmm. And Fong has plenty of matchups that are tough, let's yeah. be honest. But the fun part about playing Fong is that not a lot of people know what he does. Mm -hmm. Even top pro players like Cy, Cy Beast Gaming's Chris Deterian has always asked, what the hell does Fong actually do? It's hard to, yeah, yeah, it's, he's a fascinating character. Mm -hmm. he, on the surface level, you think, well, he must be playing slowly yeah. because he's trying to poison you. And I don't know if playing slowly is really the right way to define him because he 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 plays actively, but it's yeah. from pretty far away. But he also can play actively right next to you too. He has a lot of plus buttons, the same way that Cammy has a lot of plus buttons. Yeah. Now he's not just pounding medium punches into your face, but what he does is he he sneaks in one plus move and then goes into an empty um, and then goes into coward crouch. Yeah. Which there's a gap there, but it's also plus. Yeah. And from coward crouch, he can usually go into some other things and then sneak a um, heavy kick in there, and heavy kicks plus as well. Yeah. So, so he has this odd way of keeping pressure on his opponents while keeping them out. While, keep, while, while simultaneously keeping them out and slowly draining their health bar. Nice block there. Now, all no we're mistake on the combo. Yeah, all we're seeing from Mortzi is unfamiliarity from Black, and <laughs> which is weird because they played so much yesterday. Well, just because you know a character doesn't mean you don't, you know, get hit by stuff. Yeah, you know? but now Black is going to start pushing the pace, going to see if he can find a way in. No punish on that run cancel. That second run oh, cancel gets a forward go. throw. Got to crouch out, gets the command slide. The jump oh. in's going to land, and this comeback is absolutely <laughs> real. That was a beautiful comeback. Uh oh. Um, if you if you jump forward enough, uh, you can hit Fong, and that will dissipate the fireball. Yeah. Now, if Fong had actually blocked that um, that jump in, then uh, Ken would have been hit by the fireball on the way down. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're seeing the poison just constantly go to work there for Mortzi, and Fong, of course, got the. Uh, the poison buffed a little bit in this season three. It's just the more poison attacks you do, the faster that poison tick actually goes. It's really interesting. That's a beautiful buff. And depending on which move actually hits the uh, the poison as well, it dictates the duration of that poison as long as you're not getting hit, which is really interesting because the V skill is the shortest, and then each subsequent special move actually, depending on how many times you hit with the fireball as well, is a very interesting thing. But right now, good to see this character got buffed. Now, yeah. Morty just got bodied. Yeah, nice to see that this character got buffed, but he just got buffed through a door. <laughs> just going to say that restaurant is now open for business because Fong went crashing through it. It's noodle time. All right. Wait, Maybe. no. No, they have to break through another door for it to be noodle time. Yeah. Just kidding. Round one. Okay, can Morty make the comeback? Make the download. Sometimes you just need a game to get all that rusty play out. Plus, Morty, generally speaking, will have you right where he wants you when he's facing elimination. <laughs> he's very good. <laughs> he's very at good playing at playing two games down. Yeah. So playing one game down now, we weren't able to update the score because the streamer is actually playing his matchup in loser side. It is one nothing for Black. More pressure. Oh, very nice. You can interrupt those dashes. Black's just saying, I don't care about the V-Skill Poison because it dissipates relatively quickly. He's just running into it, trying to find his way in, knowing yep. that the V-Skill Poison won't keep Ken out. Oh, Ken no. get punished that here, though. That may have been just a fireball. Yeah, maybe. Very nice. Oh, yeah. I love all of that. Great execution there. Makes no mistake. Spends a bar to get the knockdown, to get the right kind of knockdown on that crush counter. And one of the things that I like about the way Mortzi plays is that he's picked two characters that are surprisingly very execution heavy. Fong is very heavy on execution. Oh, yeah. And to play Rashid optimally, same sort of deal. You have to be able to execute some of the tricky stuff that he does and mix up your opponent. It's not as easy as it looks. And just bringing he's, that he's execution. He's looking great with his Fong right now. I yeah. see new stuff from him every day. Yeah, so just bringing that execution to a new character is going to be very, very interesting. And while we're talking Street Fighter and new characters, oh, nice I cancel. am getting ready to be elected mayor of Vancouver. I, I love that. I, I think I actually think Cody is the right pick for you. Yeah. I thought Ed almost had that 
I, I felt like Ed was closer to your personality than Nash, but after looking at that Cody gameplay, I think that really suits you. And I yeah. don't exactly. Oh! No, 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 no. He no. didn't land all of it, but that was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good, and he went for it, which yeah. is nice. Forward throw from Black. Yeah, I'll be oh, looking nice. forward definitely to grinding out the mayor after CEO. Unfortunately, he won't be legal for CEO. <laughs> Man, I hope this knife does a whole bunch of stun and, a, or, and like a whole bunch of gray damage and chip damage. Yeah, I'm, I am definitely going to try it out, but V-Trigger 2 looks pretty. I like the pipe work. The pipe? <laughs> the pipe work. <laughs> it looks to me like the pipe allows him to do some projectile rocks, but it yeah. doesn't look like he has projectile rocks outside of that. What he does have is uh, what looked like a projectile uh, whirlwind. It thing. looked like a sonic boom. Yeah, it looked kind of like a sonic boom. S so the way I equated it just based on what I had seen in the gameplay trailer, he looks like he moves like Nash, except he can actually have decent walk speed and better buttons in range, especially in that V-Trigger 1 where you're just extending your buttons range, and it's already pretty good range. Yeah. So, might be interesting. I'm looking forward to grinding out the hours. Plus, the reveal trailer had my personal hero, Kenny Omega, play Cody for the first 10 seconds. It was <laughs> awesome. And I can't wait to meet Kenny Omega at CEO because I'm going to fanboy pretty hard. I'm Shout out to lie. Kenny Omega. Yeah. Does, it, does he normally perform in Japan? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to be able to visit him. And, oh, I'm going to tell you exactly him. where to go yes. and when to watch. Awesome. Because I will, I will be Facebook messaging you, like, go to this show. Awesome. Like, now. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for that. Yeah. I did, I, that's the first time I've even thought of that. Yeah. Round two. I will even like loan you shirts <laughs> to, to bring Just to Japan. Just give me Japan. one shirt to take with you to yeah. Japan, yeah. All right. While we were talking about Kenny Omega, Cody, and where this is going, um, <laughs> Black is looking like That's he's trying. Black. Yeah, he's trying to close this one out. It is one to one though. Whoa, whoa. There we go. We got. Oh, Kenny. nice jump. We got Kenny running the stream now and. and getting the scores up there. Thank you very much to Kenny. Fireball pressure from Black. Nice anti -air. We're not seeing anti-air jabs oh. from Morty, which is great. That's good. And Black just DPs through. Oh, that could be it. That oh, yeah, that is, is it. Absolutely it. Get the back hell wheel. Down to losers goes Morty. Black moving on to winner's semi-final. Tagashi Azrael wearing a Japanese wrestling shirt, actually. Nice. So this is a Tetsuya Naito's Capron t-shirt, which means I'm cheater or bastard, if you want to call it that, which is awesome. And I'm Mac, wearing a Mac, Clone High shirt. Yeah, Max also rocks, but This like. is a shirt that's from a show that's really good, yeah. and they only made one season of it, which is very unfortunate. All right. Speaking of uh, television, let's... Uh, we got some Hollywood stuff going because Josh is going to be on. Josh and NSLD winners semifinal coming up. Tagashi Azrael here with you for the call. I think I have to play losers as well, so we might get Geki on commentary at some point. I don't know what's happening on the, the loser side quite yet. Moving forward, though, this is winners semifinal now. NSLD and Blast, And on the other side, it's going to be uh, PB Geki and Black. Loser side, uh, I see some matches being played. Morty is getting ready to play against Kryptonite. Uh, I think I'm playing against, if I had to guess, I think I'd be playing against, uh, who lost to, uh, am I playing Kenny? I actually don't know. <laughs> While we have a minute, guys, let's talk about the stream sponsors for Vancouver Street Battle Sunday Night Street Fighter. First up, Pulse Labs Gaming Chairs. Visit PulseLabs.com. Pick up your own premium quality and highly affordable gaming chair from Pulse Labs. Pulse Labs Gaming Redefined. Also brought to you by Red Bull, the official energy drink of Vancouver Street Battle. Visit RedBull.com for more information. Follow on Twitter, like on Facebook at Red Bull Esports. Red Bull gives you wings, energy in a can, and proud supporter of esports worldwide. Oh, I could be playing Ace, actually. And that's also a possibility. I'm gonna wait to see how the loser's side falls through. NSLD and Blast. This is actually just winner semifinal. <laughs> We're just used to putting a W next to Blast's name. Blast, not in winners, but this is uh, Blast in winners semifinal. We're going to see Ken. We're going to see Chun-Li. Uh, Blast, of course, um, Familiar with this matchup, and we saw earlier Final Flash and uh, I think it was Final Flash and Black. 
We also saw Chun Li and Ken previously. Here we go. This is the winner's semi final. Round one. Fight. Sarah Blast gonna look to push. I like this from NSLD, looking to play that whiff punish game. That's what Chun-Li is very, very good at. He's gonna look to play just outside of the range of his buttons and force Cerro Blast into a situation where he's gonna get punished, like that max range sweep. Not safe on the side of Cerro Blast. Gonna punish this Tatsu as well. Get to the corner. Nicely done there on the side of NSLD. Holding pressure. Tries to shimmy the shimmy. Kami doesn't quite find it. More buttons. No whiff punishes at all from Cerroblast. I love this from NSLD. Just playing it safe. Playing it solid. Playing the lame game, quote unquote. But it's scientifically great. We do tournaments twice a week for Street Fighter. We're open four days a week. Wednesday or sorry, five days a week, Wednesday through Sunday for uh, tournaments. Visit VancouverStreetBattle.com, like on Facebook, follow on Twitter for more information about what we do. Today is Street Fighter Sundays at S Vancouver Street Battle and Cerro Blast again finding himself behind but starting to go on the offensive. And a another whiff punish from NSLD. NSLD gonna continue to play at the right range of his buttons and is gonna look for damage and does exactly that. NSLD taking the first game straight up with punishing everything that Cerro Blast had tried to do. I like the approach right now and it's time for an adjustment on the other side from Cerro Blast. Jump in immediately from NSLD, gets traded, favors Cerro Blast, but again, oh, went for a stand roundhouse. This time a little more impatient, looking for the punishes, and now it's Cerro Blast with the pressure. Nice anti-air short and gets around. Does NSLD, he's gonna start holding corner and figuring stuff out. There's the sweep. Oh, I don't know what that was from Cerro Blast. I think he was trying to cover all the recoveries and stayed around it. No punish from NSLD, doesn't matter. More offense from Cerro Blast means the first round of game number two will go to Cerro Blast. This is, of course, a first to three. This is top eight. Nice anti-air. EX Tatsu from the Shimikami. Cerro Blast looking to work off some frustration from that previous game, fighting out of it. NSLD converts EX legs off of the wake up double low shorts, does it again on the reset, and trades the anti-air and gets the anti-air, stays in front. Good pressure from NSLD looking to activate his V-trigger, just shorts the slide. Doesn't activate there or there, but lands two buttons. Now lands a stand forward, activates V-trigger, threatening stun, goes for the instant overhead, doesn't find it. Cerroblast with a back throw to get out. That V-step kick is going to get punished. That EX legs should not have been punished, but nicely done there from Cerroblast to at least land a hit. Punish the overhead, not quite. Nice spacing from Cerro Blast. Gonna spend EX Tatsu to finish it off. And Cerro Blast evens it up. Out <coughs> one game apiece, excuse me. Nicely done from Cerro Blast. Tagashi Azrael here with you. Calling the action from winner's semi-final. This is semi-final number one. Cerro Blast taking on NSLD. Game number three in a first to three. No anti-air, nice jump Fierce from Cerro Blast. Gonna push to the corner with damage. Fierce DP fights out of it with that stand roundhouse. Gets the crush counter, does NSLD, and now back to neutral with a huge life lead. Temporarily is Cerro Blast activation of V-Trigger and the bait of the DP. There's no crush counter, but there's a lot of damage coming Cerro Blast's way, courtesy of the strongest woman in the world. Beautiful setup there from NSLD, gets around, goes ahead in game number three. Misses on the low forward, converts the anti-air, but Cerro Blast not biting on any of it, gets the throw, and again to the other side. Goes for the V-Skill jump as an anti-air, doesn't quite find it, but these stand forwards have been finding their mark for NSLD until that very moment. Beautiful crush counter on neutral from Cerro Blast. Gonna look for a setup of some kind, opts for the EX fireball, stays in front, stays plus, gets the throw, and the step kick into the EX 
DP. Shoryu Repa creates the stun. Shoryuken creates the finish. Beautifully done from Cerroblast, even it off game number three at one round apiece. Round three, fight, ladies and gentlemen. Right, left mix up from Cerroblast, or left, right, excuse me. Nice air to air from NSLD action back and forth immediately. I love the attempt there on that late head stop from NSLD, but beautiful read. And now moving forward, more from NSLD. Bit of a life lead to start. This is winner semifinal. This is top eight. It will be best of five. Looking for a window to activate V-Trigger is NSLD. There he is on the slide. EX legs for the confirm. What is the mix-up coming afterwards? It's just going to be, I'm going to stand in front of you and throw these buttons. Let's see if you can do anything about it. Needs to be a one beautiful stand. Fierce catches the EX fireball. Nice spacing. That EX, or sorry, that conversion into the uh, Shinryuken is going to land. That crush counter got nothing. Little bit left. Spending meter, gonna get that chip down to zero life and the crouch slide. It's not over! It's not over! Don't pop off! It's three out of five! It's top eight! It's top eight! No! It's top eight! Max popped off at winner's semifinals, but it's still first to three! I hope somebody clips that, because that's hilarious. But that slide, give NSLD all the credit in the world. That slide was beautiful. He is up 2-1 in a first to three, and that is pretty amazing. You're still winning! <laughs> Takashi Azrael here with you. I'm glad you guys got to see that. That was great. Have an Omega Lol in chat. Thank you for the clip, Meggy Ken. That is awesome. Game number four. NSLD needs to continue this momentum. I hope he didn't burn it all standing up. Oh, this is great. I love Vancouver Street Battle. This is awesome. For more moments like this, guys, I hope you get a chance to join us here at Canada's premier gaming destination. This is Vancouver Street Battle. NSLD still looking pretty solid until he got shimmied right there. Shinryuken, conversion time for Serral Blast. It's just going to be a setup off of that fireball. Oh, missed the DP, but missed the punish. Serral Blast jumps himself in the corner, but with just the hell wheel to throw back at NSLD. But it just burned off all of that excess energy. That was awesome. <laughs> Sarah Blast looking to continue. Air to air for NSLD. Gonna land this conversion as well. Composing himself immediately. Nicely done. Gets that light fireball and puts corner pressure on Sarah Blast. This is where Chun wants to be. That's a hard punish. That's an NSLD special. Nicely done. Good recognition. And now he's going to try and punish these buttons but the back hell wheel is going to put NSLD in the corner. He's got to find a move. Nice low short. Good challenge. Gets the jump in. That was an attempted DP from Cerroblast that came out. Fireball. Unfortunate. And the low short. NSLD can still do it. He can still do it. No punish there on that stand. Fear stays in front. Nice shimmy from NSLD. Gonna get some damage. Nice DP there from Cerroblast. Anti-air to get away from the pressure. And now NSLD facing corner. Forward throw from Cerroblast. The mix up. No punish on that run cancel. EX fireball from space. And then the miss on the bird kick. Another DP anti-air. NSLD needs to play a little more patient to find an opening. Finds it with that slide. Doesn't convert legs. Doesn't convert the overhead. But is still there. Anti-air stays in front. More pressure from NSLD and the V-Trigger. Doesn't punish the sweep. Gets Gets caught in the air. Nice DP from Cerroblast. No anti-air there. Anti-air is there. Fireball to chase. Let's create the pressure. Nice. Baits it out and it's gonna get some damage. Good conversion. Holds corner. Tries to stagger. Instead gets thrown. Punish again. Low slide but nothing else. Has a V reversal. One more touch for Cerroblast. Gets caught. Crouch jab does take it. NSLD. So close. Sarah Blast staves off that first match point. Just a small execution thing. Get it out of his head. He knows what's going on. He knows exactly what's going on. He's going to recover. He's going to recover. I promise. Look, he's laughing about it. He's having a good time. Both of them having a good time. I promise you there will be some kind of recovery on the side of NSLD.
whiff punishes back and forth. Ceroblast not known for playing the whiff punish game. He's more known for baiting with shimmies as opposed to waiting on buttons. So he doesn't like to wait on buttons. He likes to force out the throws where he has more time to punish sort of everything. And right now, though, it's all Ceroblast on the whiff punishes. Gets caught with a crouch uh, strong. This is going to be punished from Ceroblast. Nicely done. EX, top, or EX DP, rather, carried to the corner. Wake up buttons from NSLD, punishes the attempted throw. Wake up Tatsu into full Shin Ryuken. The last hit was enough to finish it off and Cerro Blast on match point. Somebody saved a replay there. <laughs> Don't quite know why. Nice whiff punish. NSLD getting back to this whiff punish game, but Getting patterned a little bit, gets punished early in neutral with that stand fierce from Ken to fight his way out of the corner with the crush counter. Gets the crush counter sweep, no setup, just pushing, and the Shimikami going to work. Cerroblast being real, real fancy, but mitigating his damage with these V-Trigger cancels. And NSLD just going for damage. He needs to make a comeback, and he needs to make it now. Doesn't want to get chipped out. Wants to get a setup after this. What's it going to be? Goes for the throw. Chip out. Probably available for Cerroblast now. NSLD needs to be aware of that. More EX Fireballs. Now no meter. Nothing to worry about there. Just needs to worry about getting hit. Plus Shin Ryuken is available for Cerroblast once again. So needs to be careful about fireball spacing. Does NSLD before he gets caught, even with his footsie buttons, one whiff button and a Shin Ryuken activation could be dead. And there's the whiff crouch forward. The sweep takes care of business. Unfortunate. <laughs>